Welcome to Recover Yourself Podcast, where we alter the... Welcome to the Recover Yourself Podcast. I'm your host, Martin John, and this is where we start to take the conversation of Recover From and talk about Recover To. We're doing another Dowcast this week, and I have a guest that I'm super excited about, Shannon Downey, um, behind Badass Cross Stitch, Badass Herstory, and Seriously Badass Women. Shannon is doing so much good in the world. I'm just so excited that she exists. So I want to get right into it because she has so much to share with you. So much, so much, so much. Shannon's awesome. And here we are. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh, oh hi. there you are. <laughs> no, hi. Hi. It's so good to see you. God, it's you been too. so long. And um, so so um, pick a number that, that, that would resonate. What, what's cool. coming to you? Uh, t- 22. 22. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. this starts with if you want to become whole. So, like, <laughs> I, think <it's, laughs> I think it's fairly, fairly good. If you want to become whole, let yourself be partial. If you want to become straight, let yourself be crooked. If you want to become full, let yourself be empty. If you want to be reborn, let yourself die. If you want to be given everything, give everything up. The master, by residing in the Tao, sets an example for all beings. Because he doesn't display himself, people can see his light. Because he has nothing to prove, people can trust his words. Because he doesn't know who he is, people recognize themselves in him. Because he has no goal in mind, everything he does succeeds. When the ancient master said, If you want to be given everything, give everything up. They weren't using empty phrases. Only in being lived by the Tao can you truly be yourself. So That's a lot. (laughs) It's a lot, but it's like two things, right? Like detachment and ego, right? Right. Like that's that's what that is. is Mm -hmm. The idea of you can have no expectations and no... Not no vision, because vision's important, but I think it's that idea of, like, you can attach to the the essence, but you can't attach to the past, yeah. right? Like, you can, like, you should have a vision for something in your life, right? But the idea of um, you don't get to control how you get there. Right. And and you have to be open to um, all the different winds and curves and detours and whatever. And the more that you fight against, fight to stay on the path that you think is your path, <laughs> right? Like, yep. which it never is. Right. Um, that's where the uh, that's where the war with reality starts. Yes. And, and I think at the end it says like lived by the Tao, right? That's a that's a really interesting uh, way of of putting it, where it's like I'm being lived through, right? I have I have purpose, right? And that's my vision that you're talking about, right? Like mm-hmm. I have purpose. I have I am here for something. Now, what? is happening for that, right? Like, where am I? Rather than being like, okay, I need to do this so I can get to here because, and all of those ideas are coming, mm-hmm. like we were talking about already, from someone else. Mm-hmm. How, how do we deem success? How, how, how do we see ourselves as successful? How do we see ourselves as moving forward? What is moving forward, right? Like, <laughs> we have these ideas of like, w- well, this has to happen. And yeah. if it doesn't, do I give up my purpose, my vision? And then that's so easy to do once we get into a place of like just strictly ego because we're driving our life through um, adrenaline and willpower, which will mm-hmm. never, it's, it's not sustainable. <laughs> that would be a, like a really great stitch, <laughs> like driven by willpower and adrenaline. <laughs> so good and well, real. Yeah, and, but... When we do the work that we're talking about, like the stuff that you're like you're doing, where it's like it's not easy, Mm -hmm. like that is to open yourself up so you don't have to drive it. 
Right. So it, so yeah. it, it opens up to you. Yeah, I've always found that um, the things that I internally know are moving me forward in my purpose and, like, connecting me and, like, opening me up and, you know, moving my growth forward are the things that actually aren't that hard, right? Like, like they, they actually, like, come pretty easily. Not that they can't be, like, sad or, you know, like, the, the feelings that come with them, but, like, they're not hard. The moments in my life where I feel like I'm working really hard and I'm like, yeah, mm, powering through, willpower and... Uh, Adrenaline. Say adrenaline. Uh, for me, caffeine, whatever. <laughs> it's just like, those are the moments where it's like, it never moves me uh, as far or, you know, it usually breaks me. And then that's when I stop and surrender to sort of like, what's next? Because that's not working. Um, so in that way, I don't think of it as like, negative it's just oh, yeah. one of those moments where you like get detoured thinking that you've seen it and you're like no this is it and the minute that you say this is it sort of not it <laughs> right like if you can point to it and be like this is it mm, it's probably not it then <laughs> <laughs> but like then I would work so hard for that it and and then I would be so burnt and so tired and so um disconnected that I would have to stop and I would have to open up and flow and whatnot. And then the next, you know, then the thing would come and I'd be like, that's probably not it. Yep, <laughs> and of yep. course it is. <laughs> because it didn't take me a lot of work. It didn't, like, it's, <laughs> right? it's all like, this judgment to it. I did not sweat it. for this. Like, right. how could this be a thing? Absolutely. No, bad? I am, I am 100% in agreement with that. I mean, I, Years ago, um, had a realization that like every time I'm comfortable and realize, hey, this is who I am, mm -hmm. I say, uh oh, I'm changing. <laughs> like, yeah. like that is the moment that you are no longer that thing, right? Like you realize yeah. it, and then boop, no, yeah. there's something else now. And so, yeah. don't hold on to that. Don't hold on to that yeah. thing that you thought you were, uh, you know. And it relates so much to to doing, right? Um, mm -hmm. or in this case, you know, because we're talking about the now, not doing, right? And, <laughs> and there is, there was a time when, you know, like this whole idea of like, don't do anything. Like I was just I was really confused by that. And then one day I drove someone somewhere and I had, I had, they, they were like, thanks. And I said, oh, it's nothing. And then I went, <laughs> I get it. I get what nothing is. Like, it's just doing something that you do and who you are and being honest yeah. with that. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, I also love your face when you come upon it. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, look at Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> I, um, I want to, just because we went through that, I thought that was a really nice, a really nice way to go. Um, I want to read a different translation. This oh. is uh, um, Isabel Mears. Uh, she has a really wonderful way of, writing um and translating this but it is from like 1919 so oh, cool. um it's Old a very school. different <laughs> translation usually um and often more poetic than direct mm. where where Stephen sure. mitchell's pretty direct but that which is incomplete becomes complete the crooked becomes straight the empty becomes full the worn out becomes new like you were saying, look at that. That's a smile. He who obtains has little, he who scatters has much. That is why the self-controlled man holds to unity and brings it to manifestation for men. He looks not at self, therefore he sees clearly. Mm. He asserts, him, he asserts not himself, therefore he shines. He boasts not himself, therefore he has merit. He glorifies not himself, therefore he endures. The master indeed does not strive, yet no one in the world can strive against him. 
the words of the ancients are not empty words. That which is incomplete becomes complete. Acquire completeness by returning to it. So the end of that, like, gave me goosebumps. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, um, yeah. Where? So I'm having all these varied thoughts around this because you said, you know, this woman in 1919, right. and she's, you know, translating this, and she's, you know, using the masculine pronouns and talking about men, but obviously including herself in that as like humankind. But I'm also thinking about the idea of like if we all did this work, right, and if we all explored this, right. then we wouldn't have so many like women and people of color who have to work so hard and strive to just get heard right. and seen. Mm -hmm. And it's so, like, it's so fascinating, the connection between, like, the personal work and the collective work, right? right? And if the people who need to we all need to do this work, right? But if the people with power and who create systems of power did this work, then we wouldn't need systems of power or right. they wouldn't need systems of power, right? And so then we, like, would literally all be free. Right. <laughs> and so, like, Absolutely. That's what came up for me while... Well, you know, like... Reading that one, because I was just like, oh, girl, 1919, come on. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not like it's hard work, right? Like, like all of this stuff is just like <laughs> back like, to hard work. You know, it's, right? it's like really, it's it's just sit there and become aware. I mean, I talk, a, I talk. Like, well, but work, I think that is the ultimate hard work for a lot of people. Being well. aware and yeah, like stopping the the various addictions, right? Like even if it's like fifteen minutes of. You know, it, it's why I do all these workshops around embroidery because right. you cannot embroider and be on your device. Right. And so it's like, this is your digital analog balance. And so I think I'm actually tricking people into meditating. Yeah, you are. Well, <laughs> and, yeah. To, and to being with themselves because you, you can't do more than that thing, right? right? And it's tactile and it requires both hands and your brain and your eyes and you're connecting to your body. And, you know, as you're doing it, you can sort of, you know, if there's other folks there, you know, talk to people a little bit, while, but you're then you're talking, right? And right. you're like engaging in real life, right? right? Or you're stitching and whatever you're stitching, you know, obviously I, encourage people to stitch things that they actually want to think about not like you know ponies and bunnies um not unless they want to think about ponies and bunnies i'm fine but you know like i'm sort of asking them to think about more substantive or, or bigger systemic things and i find that as they're sitting there stitching it they don't realize that they are meditating on that thing right, right? and that they're slowing down and having like slow deep thoughts about the thing that they are um creating yeah and so every time i do it i'm like yeah whatever embroidery right like this is my tool for tricking you into believing <laughs> that you're like you know just doing this workshop or whatever around embroidery and like activism but actually i'm creating digital analog balance in your life you're welcome i am like tricking you into meditating thinking slowly ha engaging in real life like for me that is the intention and motivation behind everything that I'm doing now right. and it's just fun that at the end you've got something that you've created but it's actually just the manifestation of and, and like an artifact of and, and evidence that you slowed down for right. thir 30 minutes or 3 hours or whatever yeah thank you so much for this oh my god this yeah is so good. this is great yeah Thank you for listening to the Recover Yourself podcast. I want to thank Shannon Downey for her time and all of her insight. That was such a wonderful episode. Next week, we're going to be st we're going to start talking to people with long term recovery. So if you're someone with long term recovery, reach out to me, talk with me, let me know what you're up to, and maybe we'll have you on. So until next week, keep recovering yourself. <laughs>